Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Now today we're playing some GTA 5 online. So in today's video, we're going to be doing the outfit transfer glitch from female to male. So keep in mind that your female character is going to be deleted in all your outfits. And your main character, which is the male, is going to be deleted. So this outfit is actually the Juggernaut suit. And I really like it. So I hope you guys also enjoy it too. Now in this account, I made multiple outfits. But I'm going to be releasing the videos one by one. Let's just start off with this glitch. Head over to your female character. Go over to tops, biker cuts, and go to number 50. It will be the patch darted vest. Once you have that on, do on a back out once and go all the way to tuck t-shirts. And put on the right roll T. Now I kind of passed it a couple times here, but to right I finally found it right now. And it's the right roll T. Now once you put that on, you want to head over to the pants section and go to jeans. <coughs> Once you go to jeans, all you want to do is put on the navy low crotch at number 10. And after that, you want to go to shoes. Once you're in shoes, running shoes, once you're in running shoes, you want to put on the exact same ones that I put on right there. Now all you want to do is head over to accessories. Once you go to accessories, you want to put on the light wooden tactical. Now as you put on the white leather tactical, these are the merch gloves, so you can put any gloves on these if you want. If you don't, then just take them off. But in this case, I'm going to be putting them on. Now if you want the checkerboard hat, go down to canvas hats and put on the second to last one, which is the plaid canvas hat. Now if you want the, the glasses that are checkerboard, go to casual glasses and put on the copper marbles and save this to slot number one. Now once you have this slaved in, saved in slot number one, all you want to do is just go over to... Now once you put on the copper marbles, you want to go ahead and save this as an outfit. Now put this in slot number one, and now you're done with the outfit. Now you could go ahead and make more outfits like I did, but like I just cut to the part where I actually kill myself in the store. Now you want to do this um, because you want, the, you want to force the game to save. Once you kill yourself inside the store, you want to open your attraction menu and you want to go to style and click the outfit again. Now you want to do is put pause, go to online and go to creator. Once you go to creator, you want to click OK on the alert and you're going to load inside creator. Now this is the part where you actually want to do the race. If you haven't done a, a land race, I'm going to leave a link um to uh how to do the transfer glitch down in the description box down below so you guys could do the race also i recommend i recommend you guys saving it or publishing it if you want to do the transfer glitch later on in the future so i already have one right here so i'm gonna be um testing that race because that's all you have to do you gotta make a race test it and just back out go to online i mean go to yeah online and go to choose character but I'm going to be showing you all those steps later on. So I'm going to be fast forward this part and I'll meet you guys when I'm done. So once you went ahead and finished the uh, race, all you want to do is put pause, go to online and go to choose character. Once you go to choose character, you want to press OK on the alert. Once you go to press OK on the alert, you're going to load into the prison scene. Now, once you're in the prison scene, you're going to see that you could choose your character or delete them or rename them. So all you want to do is make sure you delete your female character right here. Don't delete your main character because I'm not responsible for you delete your main character. Now once you delete your main um your female character, you wanna spam B or circle if you're on PlayStation. Doing this will allow you to quit to story mode. Now once you're in this loading screen, you're gonna load into story mode right about now. Once you load into story mode, all you wanna do is just put pause. Once you put pause, you wanna go to online and go to GTA 5 online. Now once you're in this loading screen, this might this loading screen might take a while. But for me I just fast forward this part so for you guys it won't seem a what a long time. But for me it took like about four four to five minutes 
and but I finally loaded in as you can see here my GT5 loading circle went away in the bottom right so that should disappear right about now I guess and once it disappeared you're gonna see that should load inside GTA 5 now once my think my circle loaded oh, all went away now um you're gonna see that your screen is gonna zoom in and zoom in now as you can see like what's going on right here it's zooming in and zooming in now you're gonna spawn at whatever location you put your spawn location to be at so in this case i put mine inside my arcade so i should be spawning inside my arcade once you spawn your in your arcade you're gonna notice that you're wearing the outfit that you put on before doing the chance of glitch so in this case it was this all checkerboard outfit I wanted to save the paramedic but I forgot to do that so make sure you put on the outfit that you don't want to lose first now just open up your interaction menu and just scroll like across from all of them don't select any just scroll to see if all your outfits from your female character transferred over to your male if they did then you did the glitch correctly and now you want to do is just save the outfit that you're currently wearing so for me since I spawned in my arcade all I did was go all the way down to my um, room once I go to my room all you want to do is just access the closet and just save your outfit right there so once you save the outfit all you want to do is just put press X I don't know what button is on the PlayStation but it should say it in the bottom right now once you do that you want to save the outfit in an empty slot now once you save the outfit on an empty slot you want to name it whatever you want so in this case I've named it checkerboard and as you can see it's gonna pop up any second now so yeah so once you save the outfit you want to go down to save outfits and just spam a on all the outfits to see if the outfit would like put it on because some outfits when you transfer them you get to put them on without going to cricket cop so none of the outfits were put on so all I had to do was go to online play jobs rockstar created and go to versus and then start a cricket cop starting up cricket cop will allow you to swap over to your other outfits without putting them on in the in closet and get to merge certain components together so this is like a modded job so make sure you start this one up and and specifically so once you start it up, you want to make sure that um, that the outfit says player owned. If it doesn't say player owned, all you want to do is back out. Now this is a great example for um, for it because it said themed and not player owned. It has to say player owned because if it doesn't say player owned, you won't be able to swap over to the other outfits that you made. So just back out of that and you're going to spawn outside. All you want to do is just put pause again. Once you put pause, you want to go to online jobs, play jobs versus I start a crooked cop once again. So I'm gonna do that right now. Put pause, online jobs, play jobs, rocks are created, and load into versus and start a crooked cop. So just pay on that, press A on that one. If it says host it, then it's actually really all good it's actually better than joining into someone else's game because you never know if they have themed or like any other alpha selection but in this case i joined another guy so um i'm be hoping that it says player owned so i'm just be waiting it does say player owned so now i'm good now i'm just gonna wait till he um till he starts up the job if you host a job, make sure you have a friend to join you because sometimes randoms tend to leave. So yeah, make sure you have a friend that will help you with this. The outfits will only take like two seconds to merge. So it's actually pretty fun to merge them together. So once you uh, launch the job, um, I forgot to say this in the beginning, but make sure you have an earpiece or a rebreather. But I like putting on the earpiece better because it actually, if you put on a rebreather, it actually takes off the hat and the glasses. So once you start up the job, you're going to be in the screen. All you want to do is go to owned outfits and go once to the left. 
if you put all the components correctly, then you're gonna have the same outfit that I have right here, the Juggernaut outfit. Now this outfit is pretty fire and I like it a lot. I think it's pretty decent also. So yeah. And also guys, stay tuned for my other videos that are coming out. Cause remember, I did a bunch of outfits in this character. So I'm gonna be uploading them probably more today or sometime tomorrow. Now once you actually load it in, all you wanna do is just open your extraction menu, go to a style, go to accessories, and go once to the left from gear. Once you go to once to the left in gear, all you wanna do is just um back out. Now this will allow you to equip the earpiece. If you actually put on the rebreather, keep in mind that you're gonna lose the hat and the glasses. So all you wanna do is put your gun away and then quit the job through via phone. Now once you quit the job, you're gonna be in this loading screen. If it if it kicks you out the game or it says you're rejoining GT5 online, um which happened to me, all I had to do was just um close GTA 5 online and load back inside online again so I'm gonna just cut this part because it actually kicked me out of GTA 5 online and I'm loading into story mode so I'll see you guys when I'm back alright guys now once you guys load it in you're gonna see that you have the juggernaut outfit that you just made now if you guys like the video make sure you guys smack that like button and subscribe if you want more content like I said earlier in the vid I'm going to be uploading more transfer outfits later on, probably today or maybe tomorrow, but I'm going to be uploading them because I made more outfits on this account. So like I said, I'm going to be uploading them one by one. So here we go again, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.